Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 2 Finals. We've got the Losers Bracket Round 2, Inarian versus Galentio. Inarian in the yellow with the Black Oaks, and Galentio in the white and green with the Pro Elves. Um, Inarian is receiving, he's got a bunch of block, a couple of tacklers. It's amazing that he took these tacklers, and then he's been facing Pro Elves and Dark Elves and Skaven twice. Just unbelievable that like to get so much value from these tackles. But you know, even then, I still think you know a lot of the time the block keep them on their uh, keep them on their feet and you know lead more knockdowns anyway. But the great thing about these tackle guys is one is called Jimmy and the other is called Fantastic. So obviously, these tackle guys are carrying the team. Can't argue with that. Sneaky gets nice, isn't it? And he's really really been heavily leaning into the block troll for his blitzers to get the uh, you know mighty blow knockdowns. Really like that he went 14 players, no Apo. Uh, don't like that, <laughs> that it, Galentio's only got 12 players and no Apo. And, uh, you know, these just a, such a smattering of skills. Uh, I think Proel's needed, like, you know, stacking or, or more skills to be, you know, taken over um, Dark Elves. There was some kind of an anti blitz set up here from uh, Inarian. Probably not the best, but, uh, you know, something. Something. Yeah, no, I mean I agree. I agree, yeah. Uh, I agree as well, Baron Bucky. I'm not I'm not just I'm not just having a go at art, you know, I do I do mostly watch I mostly watch as much as I can of art and think he's definitely good at Blood Bowl and knows his stuff. But uh he's a sort of guy. He's a sort of guy that if he was getting knocked off by Anadin Arms <laughs> he'd be <laughs> he'd be complaining about it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I don't like this from an Aryan. Um, this guy's gone stupid and he's only got one guy behind. I guess it's good enough. But. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think this, uh, this, this is, I, I would have rather gone safe, right? Just like this guy here and this guy there. So that it's, it's even harder for him to get out. He's not going to get out, but he would have got through. Um, block doing a thing. Good block. Dodge away. Classic. Dodgeless block. A dodgeless block. <laughs> no, sorry. It was a dodge. Wait, was it a blockless dodge? It was a blockless dodge. No, it was a dodgeless block, wasn't it? It was a dodgeless block. Um, he didn't. He <laughs> was a dodgeless block. <laughs> it was a dodgeless. <laughs> he gets the power there. Obviously, bring him in for the 3D. Really tight cage. Four. Art's the kind of guy <laughs> that would complain that, <laughs> that Anadiamus' cage wasn't tight enough. Oh, blitzing the sure hands. So, yeah, quite like that, you know, like the super strong cage, but he's obviously going to nail the goblin, isn't he? So maybe that goblin could have been in here, right, and just exposing black orcs to punches. Yeah, no foul. So he goes for the he goes for the brawler skill there. It's really confusing, isn't it? Because brawler like the animation rerolls both dice, and uh, you kind of think, why does he reroll that? And then after a few seconds, it's oh, he used he used uh, brawler. Three D with mighty blow. Can't argue with that. Now we're going to see the foul. Two assists. Double one, but sneaky git says no problem. You can roll like Jim. Yeah, it has to GFI here. Otherwise, this guy was too much of a weak link to uh, get taken out and hit the ball. 
remarkable uh, remarkable restraint from Galentio here. Uh, turn three. Normally we would have seen him basing the ball three times, but I guess Inarin's played pretty defensively, protecting his goblins. Generally protecting his goblins. And there's a reroll gone for Galencho. Doesn't want to blitz the wrestler, so he, he could blitz this guy as like the kind of the kind of furthest forward defender, or he's just gonna just gonna keep pushing down the sideline. It's a bit tricky, right? It's a bit dodgy pushing down the sideline. Um, first of all, if your troll goes stupid on these blitzers, and second of all, the sidestep comes into play for him to shut down the sideline. So you really want to get back in the middle if you can. Here, here. Ooh, the foul. I think I don't foul there. Definitely do not foul there. And then uh, that lets you keep this big enough. I mean, he can get surfed, can't he? Like, I don't want my... Uh, don't want my sneaky get getting surfed. So... Yeah, not, uh, not fouling would have kept the... the Black Orc out at least one more square. Maybe even two, and then being made for a, a stronger switch back in the middle if necessary. Could have been up on there, or, or all the way out here, right? Reinforcing him on the corner. It did cost him a reroll, yep. Yeah. I mean, he didn't have to reroll, right? He could have taken the both there. He chose to make it a three plus for the surf. But he could have accepted the both down. Turn five. Gonna block through the uh, dodge character and fail, but it's okay. It's turn five. Already got you know much deeper penetration than Devo did in uh, in the game that we did earlier, where you know he'd made a bunch of removals and not got anywhere by turn five. Now at least um, you know Inarin is pretty deep into the half here. So if things happen, he's not. He hasn't got like a massive way to go. Oh wow, cheeky little Kaz. Two Kaz now is a. Uh, it's not unmanageable levels for Proels, but it's uh, it's uncomfortable levels, isn't it? This is this is certainly an uncomfortable amount of removals. An AV break, but it's nothing special. Dodges the dodgeless guy off because that's the tackler. Oh, the tackler perfectly positioned. Well done, fantastic. Dub Skulls has to use a team reroll. We might be fouling this fella. Depends if uh, if you can spare the assists or not. Yeah, 3D. 3D troll daily every turn, right? Really nice. Really nice. Oh, but the goblins had to, uh, had to move up first, so tragically no foul. That means we'll get a blood stepper basing the ball. <laughs> Classic. One day we'll see a pro of coach do something unexpected, <laughs> but not today. This is a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy. Like, this should be a decent cage. Yeah, I think. Feel like this could be a decent cage. Sidestep is fully countered by grab still. Galentio now realizes <laughs> it's no longer they no longer cancel out, it is just fully countered by Grab. Hmm. Yeah, 
Brawler does nothing. Brawler's so bad, isn't it? But it's a nice little, uh, nice little formation. And then the Goblin would really have liked to have dodged, like, one or two, right? But obviously he's not going to dodge through tackle. Out of reroll for Inarian. Something happened there. Was it GFI fail, maybe? Oh my god. I failed into death. <laughs> and turn it. He gets to score with an No, he doesn't score with an old dice. He three dices with the troll. Could have also vomited with the troll right for no turnover chance. But. More chance of casting himself than uh, blocking. Wow. Wow. What a. Uh, what a uh, half for Inarian. I mean, this is a bit of a dicing for Galenti, alright, taking such damage. But then. It's not that much of a dicing because, like, it's pretty decent, like, three, but, you know, he's been three dicing with Mighty Blow and Block a fair bit, and he's kind of given away a fair few hits as well. It's just, it's just a hard match because Proyles are a bit rubbish. Yeah, fouling lots, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, uh... Yep. Yeah. So now... Uh, well, okay, so he's doing the right thing in that he's fouling... To get back into the game because he's so far behind, but he's fouling without the sneaky git one. <laughs> That's not the right way of doing it. The thing is, they're so slow, aren't they? So like, it, they've got to be well played, and they've got to they've got to push forward. They've got to they've got to actively be pushing forward, right? They've got to they've got to be thinking about penetration first and foremost. And obviously, Anarian was, and he did get forward, did keep it safe. And they do need removals as well, yeah, that's true. It's true. Got the removals. But the biggest thing is the getting forward. If he hadn't got forward, if he waited until turn five or six to get forward, he wouldn't have you know, he wouldn't have had a safe cage. On the on on the last turn, right? So I think that the important takeaway was how important the penetration was. They're fucking moving four. <laughs> They're so slow. So horrifically slow. Yeah, yeah like, like, look, when they came out, we all, like, you know, all of the veterans were all, like, pretty uh, excited's a strong word, but interested to play them because, you know, there's something a bit different, aren't they? Like, grab spam is pretty cool. Um, Brawler, you know, some people thought it would really be better than it was. But the, the all grab for, like, the big gang fouls, pretty cool. The getting loads of guard, pretty cool. And then, like, setting up huge gang fouls. Very cool. Obviously, sneaky get dirty player, amazing. So, that they are a bit unique. I just think for this tournament, lizards obviously better. Uh, yes, the 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 elves do not want to get the the shit kicked out of them by black orcs, and also like the black orcs can't react very well to the daka roll. So yeah, I would daka. 100%. Like, they're just not good at fighting or really playing Blood Bowl at all, Pro Elves. Uh, <laughs> rookie Pro Elves, they just, they just haven't got it. They're just they're not near rookie, right? They're just. Why aren't. They, if you like Elves, why weren't they Dark Elves? That, like, that's basically the problem. That you're facing here as the as the pro elf coach. He's thinking, why did I not use dark elves? And you know, maybe dark elves would have lost as well, but they would have had a lot of more AV and blodge instead of what one blodger and two dodges. They would have just had five or six blodge. Like it's just so much better. So much better. 
Could have done a lot of safe moves first here in Aryan. You know, that's one of the things. A few moves afterwards, you know, make the blocks, then move these guys in. And another KO. They did. They did make it. They did make it further than the Dark Elves. They did, but I mean, that's. I'm not saying the coach is terrible. I'm, I'm saying the, the, you know, the race that that he chose is just just does not make as good a team as as Dark Elves. Um, how can the Elves Daka? You don't need to be ahead to Daka. It's a way to score on turn eight. Is that's like you know. Score on turn eight while taking minimal attrition. It's better if you're ahead because it makes it so much harder to defend it if you're ahead. Because then they have to come after you and they have to try and turn you over. And then they're much more likely to leave gaps. I don't think that's a good way to defend against the Daka fucking around. So there you go. We saw Andy do that versus uh, Artemis. It didn't work out very well for him. And if the if the Blackhawks just don't move from the halfway line, right? If the Blackhawks don't move from the halfway line, you've just saved yourself all of this four turns of getting beaten up by and okay he's taken actually not hardly anything or well, nothing Did, maybe he took one KO but you've saved yourself all these turns of hits and having to dodge and everything and like it's still it's still stopping attrition right oh tackle wonderfully placed tackle there you could say it was like you know fantastic oh hey oh hey Okay, pretty nice turn from Galencho. Pretty nice turn. Um, Inari, and if he made a dodge, he could surf his own Black Orc here, but instead he chooses to surf a Pro Elf. Probably a better choice. Probably. I've got no idea when, when this was played. To be honest. I think I would have put him here and risked the non-troll activation to get the troll there, but I guess this way it's just a 4 plus and it doesn't matter if it fails. Maybe that's better. And then GFI as well. On oh, the second one. Oh, that's a bit greedy. It's a bit greedy, but fair enough. Just does the handoff. He scores, yeah, I was going to say, you've got to score there. Faked us out, faked us out with a long run. Love to see it. Time out. So that gets him an extra. That gets him an extra turn of stall anyway. So it's like he, uh, like he stalled it. <laughs> so now it's a three turn for an Aryan versus seven elves. Not super likely, is it? But possible. Possible. I'm not going to use rerolls on anything but something that makes it really good, I think. Lovely stun. He's in his own half though, so it's a, it will be a GFI. I wonder if it was worth like uh, making that not a GFI somehow. Like if this 
Black Hawk could have gone up to there or something, or just a bit further forward so that he could have gone one more further forward. No. There's a screen. Oh man. Black Hawk scoring threat. Love to see it. Grab on the side stepper. Also love to see it. It's gonna three plus through. That's there. Diced. Instant four one in nine. I think generally it's better to pressure the Dakers, so at least you don't just give them free, you know, attritionless turns. Ooh. Okay. So. <laughs> there was a one there, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. So. What could we have done here? Block, grab him to there. Block, grab him to here. Oh, he's there, fuck. Block, grab him to there. So block, grab him to here, which then gets him one, two, three, four. Oh no, because he's out of the way, so then one. Well, if you pow him, you can go one, two, three, four. And then you can grab him to there. And then the troll. Oh, fuck me. It's not easy, is it? <laughs> like, obviously you don't want to hit with the, with the troll. Oh, and even if you do push him forward, this guy's there anyway. And he's just... Is he just hit him? Is it very easy? Well, there you go. Should have chained him forward anyway. Should have chained him forward. I mean, if you can chain him forward, you should chain him forward, right? Yeah, but the, the lots of dice that you're rolling are blocks with re-rolls, right? But a block with re-roll is a 0.1% fail. <laughs> or like a point, you know, 8% fail or whatever. Instead of a 3% fail. So, um... But anyway... Um, probably, the, you know, I'm pretty sure it's not better to do a rush, but, it, you know, I couldn't figure it out and I'm tired now, so if you'd just played, uh, if you'd just played, you know, two hours of Bloodborne stuff and the fourth hour of the day or the, or the sixth hour of the day or whatever it was, then, uh, you know, of course, you can be forgiven for not making the absolute perfect optimal play and it, it's easy to do it with a troll, but I wouldn't want to do it with a troll because I'd want to do it, you know, to try and avoid quad schools. It was very easy to set up with a troll, but it's, uh, you know, ideally you don't want to do it with a troll, do you? Um, but anyway, the problem is if you don't power as well, then you need to be able to hit him back and stuff so that you need the backup plans for if you don't power the guy that you're chaining him forward with, because you're obviously dodging with a goblin is way worse than not dodging with a goblin. So it, it wasn't, I don't think it was that easy. I don't think it was very easy, as an Aryan said. I think you'd need, you'd need all the contingency plans so you're guaranteed to just do it all with two dice blocks and and like rolling pushes. And if you, you know, or both downs. And then with two rerolls, you can almost guarantee that. So anyway, you should be trying to look for those things anyway. You should be trying to look for those, those pushes um, on those kind of turns. But, you know, th 35 times out of 36, it's a win anyway, isn't it? And... It's certainly easier mentally to just try and look for, just you know, just to not look for it at all and and uh, do the GFI. So there you go. Very, I mean, very slight criticism anyway, right? Like, so. Anyway, uh, Anario wins. Congratulations to Anarian. 
Galentio goes out and misses out on the money. Um, commiserations to Galentio. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.